The following program is closed captioned and has been recommended for viewing by the American Federation of Teachers and the National Education Association. Dinah, I'm so mad I can't see straight. Well, aren't you going to ask me why I'm mad? Because I haven't been able to eat a single one of my desserts at lunch this week. Well, aren't you going to ask me why I haven't been able to eat them? Because this new girl at school just walks over to my lunch tray and takes them. Well, aren't you going to ask me why I don't try and stop her? Because she's such a bully, I'm afraid of her. So what am I going to do tomorrow when she swipes my banana cream pie? The one dessert I look forward to all week. Don't ask, because I don't have any idea what I'm going to do. Boy, I need some time to think about this. Tales about our friend Hare. What he got in the mail is giving him a scare. But there's something that he's got to do. It's not going to be easy, but he's got to see it through. The ballad of Pine Noon is what I'm here to croon. Trouble's on its way, and it's going to be here soon. When the sun is in the sky, straight overhead, about yea high, that'll be the time. That'll be the time when Hare's luck just might run dry. Oh, I wonder what could be keeping Hare. He's never been late for a morning tea party before. Maybe he's not coming. Uh, not coming? Uh, Alice, Hare has never, ever missed a morning tea party. <laughs> no matter how busy he's been, he's always made time to come to every single solitary one. But you've never had a morning tea party. How true that is. Oh, oh, sorry, I'm late. Packing took forever. Oh, but you don't need a lot of clothes for this tea party here. Just a t-shirt. <laughs> a t-shirt. No, no. My bag is packed because I'm getting out of town. Getting out of town? Where are you going? No, I don't care. Anywhere, as long as I'm out of Wonderland by 12 o'clock. Oh! I just got this letter saying Mike McNasty's coming in on the noon train. Who's Mike McNasty? Really, Alice, I can't believe you don't know who Mike McNasty is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who's Mike McNasty? The he was the bully at my high school, and the man responsible for my nickname. Pie Face. Your high school nickname was Pie Face? What a coincidence! Mine was Scooter. Um, why did everyone call you Pie Face, Mr. Hare? Because no matter where I was, this bully would find me and throw a pie in my face. In gym class. My locker. <laughs> Around the bike racks.
It got so bad I tried wearing a disguise, but even that didn't work. Oh, come on, hair. I think you're exaggerating. Here you go. Oh, thank you. No! Are you sure you're not making it sound a little worse than it was, Mr. Hare? Yes! Just take a look at my photo in the high school yearbook. See? Oh, say, you wouldn't happen to have a spare wallet size of that, would you? No. And I'm not sticking around long enough to have any new ones taken. McNasty's letter said he'd be here at exactly high noon. Give or take five minutes. High noon? But that's only an hour away. Precisely. So with each passing second, a cream pie gets that much closer to my kisser. But what's an hour? What's a hundred miles? He'll come looking for you, and you'll just have to keep running for the rest of your life. Hair, I think the time has come for you to confront this bully. But why would I want to say nice things to him? Not comfort him, confront him. You know, go face to face with him. Here, you won't have to do this alone. <laughs> After all, this is your town. You've got friends here. You don't need to be afraid of a confrontation. Hair is okay, cause he's got a friend. A friend will stick by you until the bitter end. So there you have it. Mike McNasty is coming in on the train at exactly high noon. To give or take five minutes. <laughs> and hair needs a posse. Oh, where are we gonna find one now? They only come out at night. Not a possum, a posse. You know, a group of people who help keep the peace in an emergency. Wait, it's not right for me to drag all of you into this confrontation. It's my problem. But, Mr. Hare, if McNasty isn't stopped, he may become everybody's problem. Right, and if we want to keep the streets of Wonderland safe from lily-livered louts, we'd better all pitch in. Gosh, you guys are the greatest. I can always count on you. <laughs> here in Wonderland. <laughs> Now, we've got to hurry. That bully's going to be here in less than an hour, and we don't have a single pie ready yet. <laughs> uh, we're planning on feeding him? No, the pies are for self-defense. <laughs> Wait, you mean this bully doesn't just say mean things to you? No, he bullies people by throwing pies at them. You mean he's a pie-pitching pest? Don't worry. There will be five of us and just one of him. No, oh, that won't make any difference. Hey, you hear that, D? That won't make any difference. <laughs> what do you mean, that won't make any difference? McNasty's so fast, he can cream five people before they can even get their pies out of the boxes. So you're saying our getting involved won't even help? Oh, sure, it'll help. <laughs> it'll help me feel less stupid if I'm not the only one who gets pies splattered all over him. <laughs> Uh, you know, Hare, there is another way of looking at this. I mean, what are people going to think if they read about pie fighting in the streets of Wonderland? I'll tell you what they're going to think. That this is just another lawless, wide-open land where innocent people can't walk down the street without getting hit in the face with a pie. So, uh, what you're really saying is you won't help me because you're chicken. Well, that and my dry cleaning bills are already too high. Wait a minute, Hatter. I don't think you should be so quick 